removing my Aru juvenile, who's not such a juvenile anymore, green tree python, into a bigger cage. What's up, snake fans? Dave Palumbo here for Muscle Serpents Daily. Uh, today uh, is a long day for me. My friend Paul's coming over. He's bringing me a black tree monitor. He has one left, and he um, he's moving, so he needs a place to put it. Probably won't showcase that till tomorrow's video because it's going to be a little skittish. But we'll be taking a look at some snakes here this evening since uh, he'll be here and... Uh, We'll be moving some stuff around, and so I, I figured I'll we'll just shoot some stuff randomly. We also had a little bit of a, a storm here this past couple of days. It's been very windy and raining, so uh, I think there's some locking action from what Pablo told me. So without further ado, let's take a look and see what's going on in the snake room. All right, a little update on our Super Fire Diamond Boas in their naturalistic enclosure. And there's one, and they're kind of hanging out with each other right now. They're definitely not, they're not breeding right now. They're not really ready. They probably need another year or so. And I don't even care if they breed or not, but it's kind of cool. Just checking them out in their natural habitat right there. It's funny, they're, 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 they're really so content. These guys are always in the trees, which tells me the boas like to climb. Very rarely. Sometimes, you know, when they eat, they'll go on, sometimes they'll, they'll sit on the bottom or they'll go up there and they'll bask under the uh, radiant heat panel I have there. Sometimes they'll get a little UV light for themselves. But by and far, they, and they, and they, you know what? I've noticed they're really lean. And I think it's because they get a lot of exercise in here. They move around a lot, they're climbing. Whereas most, you know, boas, if they're in a tub type of situation and set up, they're pretty much not going anywhere, you know. So these guys are actually exercising, which is, I imagine, probably really good for them. All right, we're uh, moving my Aru juvenile, who's not such a juvenile anymore, green tree python, into a bigger cage, one of these focus cubes. We're moving Paul's Amazon basin into the, her cage. She's squeezing hard by hand, but she hasn't bit me, you know. I put a glove on because I don't want to get bit, but she really hasn't snapped at all. She's a she's our best eater. This green tree pot down goes. And I mean we don't overfeed her or anything like that, but she definitely is probably the best one. And probably the prettiest one we have too. A lot of blues in her. And you know, usually you can't hold these things. They, they have very big teeth. And you don't want to get bit by them, that's for sure. Uh, it hurts, but she's she's really nice. So we're gonna put her down here, and it's nighttime, so well the lights are off, but and we'll put some cocoa husk in here tomorrow for her. Let's see if we can get her in on a perch. Here, let's go. Come on, come on, big girl. All right, let her go there. There we go. All right, now we're going to take the uh, Amazon Basin. It's in the process of changing colors. It's going through its ontogenetic color change. Pablo just rinsed it off a little bit. And we're going to put her into the, uh, the cage where the green tree pot. This cage seems to hold the humidity really well. And these Amazons just don't do well if they're not humid. Constantly being rained on and, and wet. I she'll do well in here. She's in the shed. Yeah, she's definitely, yeah, she's definitely got a layer on it right now. Fresh shed on this Hypo Jungle Motley double head VPI Snow. Female, she's looking really nice. Look at that, just dropped the shed. As I'm just going through these snake containers here. That's nice. What else we got here? We got uh, my Hypo Blood Onyx. Just also shed the other day. Looking really nice as well. I'd like to give you updates. All right, here's our Super Hypo Blizzard. Female, looking very beautiful and very white. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. It looks it doesn't look as white on the camera as I'm looking at right now, but she is beautiful. Look at this girl. That's beautiful white color. Hmm. I love to come in here at night sometimes and just check a look at the boas because they're just they're very active. Like right when the guys start getting dark outside. The 
This is a super hypo. Sharp albino. Ralph Davis Reptile Black Eyed Annery. And we call this the Super Hypo Blizzard. There's my blue line. Just shed. Everyone shed today. Look at those blues. Look at that crazy color in the snake. He's a little nasty, but who cares? He just looks incredible. He keeps changing. You know, he's getting yellows in him now. As you know, all bows when they get older get yellows, except the super hypo blizzards that is. But um, even the blue lines will get it. But you can see all the this blue saturation here, through the head and through the whole body. And then they got he's got these crazy whites in his tail. Just a really wacky, crazy looking bow. This might be the craziest bow I've ever seen. Really is. There's another wacky looking blue line. Female. Blue line sun glow. Very reduced pattern saddles. But saturation. I don't think this camera's picking it up, but that's all blue. Bluish purple. Just through the whole body. Especially the head. The head more so than anything. Look at that. That looks very promising. These are fire diamonds. So you know how, how terrible luck I have with fire diamonds. These are Central American T-positive. They're visual T-positive albinos that also have the fire diamond gene in, in both of them. They're both the same and they have hypo as well. And they're breeding. It's like, wow, in a very small tub too. This is a surprise, a very welcome surprise. The male's on top, obviously female on the bottom. And I'm not going to disturb them because I have never produced a white fire diamond yet. Super fire. Had terrible luck. Maybe this is my uh, year that everything changes. I did nothing special. I just put them together. I didn't even move them in different rooms. I'm leaving them alone. You know, they say sometimes the um, by putting the Central American genes into it, uh, it makes it easier for them to breed. You know, the fire diamonds that are just pure fire diamonds seem to be a little harder to breed maybe because now these are Central Americans blood in them we have the Central Americans positive that it might be making it a little easier for them to, um, to produce we'll see so far we haven't produced anything we just have a nice picture here look at that those are my super dwarf boas these are all pure Honduran boas with Onyx gene. The male is a red baron. It's a super onyx Honduran T positive. So two copies of onyx, one, uh, two copies of Honduran T positive. The female is a motley single copy onyx Honduran T positive as well. She produced two years ago the smallest, she's the smallest bow I've ever had produce a litter. She's teeny tiny. You can see my hand. They are small boas. They're eight years old. They don't eat a lot. They Produce very nice babies, not big litters, but baby size is good. And everything out of this is going to be Honduran T positive because they're both Honduran T positive, and that's one of the nicest T positives around. We have a possibility for some Onyx, Super Onyx, Motley in there as well. And I'm very excited about this breeding. So hopefully, we produce some more babies this year. If you guys are into teeny tiny boas, our bow is in every sensitive word except they're small. This is the way to go. Oh, these guys are also uh, having some fun. Leopard, blood, male, it's head albino. Being bred to a blood female that's 50% hog island blood, which is kind of like, I guess, I guess if you can pull the pastel line. It, you know, we're having a little storm. We have a little tropical storm here. It's been windy all day, it rained all night, so seems like this is uh, really kicking these boas into high gear in terms of breeding goes. I'm not going to complain. I love it. Here's some more dwarf boas breeding. This is an onyx that's head for blood and head for Honduran T positive. Being bred to a T positive sun glow. That's head for blood. So this is a hypo, Honduran T positive, onyx. The tent for blood, so we can produce some really cool stuff from this. Uh, we can produce some superonics, hypo superonic stuff that's 
Hunter and T positive. We can get some blood if we get really lucky in there as well. These guys just shed. I expect to see some breeding. I don't see breeding action right now, but I expect to see some breeding action probably. Usually after they shed and with a, with a rainstorm like we're having, we'll probably see some, some breeding. He's tiny, but these are tiny snakes. They're super dwarfs. All right, there's a, a motley female that's triple head, blood, leopard, and call albino. Hmm, that's a good one. Being bred to our triple head, blood, leopard, call albino. So triple head to triple head, those are big odds. One in 64 chance of hitting a blood leopard albino. With this pairing, they just shed. Um, I don't see any locking right now. I, I don't even know if the female's big enough to be honest with you, but we're trying it anyway. So if it goes, it goes. If not, we'll have to wait till next year. So they're beautiful. They're actually pretty beautiful snakes for being triple heads. You know, they have some really nice coloring. The motley, of course, is a little nicer, but that, that male is very light, so. We'll keep an eye on this over the next couple months. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today here at Palumbo's Pythons and Boas. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I was away at my sister's all weekend up in Connecticut, so I might have missed a few videos at the end of last week, and this one's a little late because I flew in on Monday, but we're back on schedule now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, show us the love. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications. Hit that like button. I'll see you back tomorrow morning.